The most amazing part of being up high is the view. On top of the trees, there's a completely different view. Yes, I'm in a tree house. This is incredible. Hold on a minute. What happened to the roof? I'm sorry, but this is my tree house. Excuse me, I need to continue and finish this work. This is not a tree house in its original size, but this house is great for playing and making up stories. To make it, you need a box like this. The best shape is a square because making the roof is easier like that. We'll see it later. So let's get started. Draw a door and some windows onto one side of the box. On the other side, draw only windows. Cut the box when you're done. For all the cutting we'll be doing today, ask an adult's help. Leave one side of the door un- so that it can open and close. To create the roof, place the box onto a piece of cardboard and draw its shape. But because you need a bigger rectangle, leave some margin on the sides. Leave margins twice as big on the top and on the bottom and mark them down. Then draw the rectangle with its new line. When you're done, cut the shape from the middle. You'll have two pieces of cardboard in hand. Tape both sides of the roof from each side. Fold the roof and place it onto another piece of cardboard. Draw the outline of the shape from inside. Finish the triangle shape and cut two more of the same triangle. Tape the triangles on the sides of the roof. Now your house has a roof. Well, now it looks like a house. You can see that it's like the ones where you live. This one, be on the top of a tree. Let's continue with our building. Place the bottom of your house onto a piece of cardboard. Draw its shape. Cut out the extras on the sides, and you'll have a square in hand. This square is the part that supports your house. Now, place this part onto a bigger piece of cardboard. Draw curvy lines that look like a big flower. Then, cut it from the lines. Now, the part that would be covered with the grass is ready, but we'll work on that a little later. To make the tree, get a cardboard roll and tape it firmly. Make sure it's really sturdy. Then, grab the big square you cut before and tape it to the roll. And finally, glue the bottom part of the house and stick it there. When you put the roof on, it's almost like a real house. It looks great, but there are still some things you need to do. If you want a clue, prepare the Artitech glue that is a half water and half glue mixture, the newspaper strips, and the paper towel pieces. This is what we'll be doing. To make the grass, glue the paper towel pieces and wrinkle them with a brush. The cardboard roll will become the tree's trunk. Then. Cover it with more newspaper strips and glue. Make the branches as if they were carrying the house. Add some newspaper strips to our platform. Glue everywhere from bottom to top. Cover both the inside and outside of the roof. The roof needs to be sturdy, so cover it as much as you want. To make the rope ladder, cut two pieces of string that reach from the house to the grass. Spread a piece of plastic and place the strings onto it side by side glue toothpicks on them one by one. We're getting there little by little. Wow, even though it's a bit small for my feet, I love this ladder. You can also use other materials, like small sticks. If you don't have toothpicks, you can even use strips made out of cardboard. Use any type of material you can find. Now it's time to paint. Draw the details on the doors and the windows. Draw a baseboard on the space between the door and the ground. Later, make lines onto the rooftop. Now color it. Paint the house sky blue, but you can use any color you want. Paint the bottom part green because it's the color of grass. Use brown for the trunk. Paint the platform the same color as the trunk, the door, and the windows. For the baseboard, use orange, also for some of the lines on the rooftop, and match them with bright colors so it looks amazing. Paint the floor inside the house a bright color. Because the rungs of the ladder should look like they're made of wood, paint them brown. 
so you don't make a mess, I recommend you put some newspaper or plastic under it. With a dry brush, draw some yellow highlights onto the grass so it looks as if it's shining in the sun. Repeat the same process for the trunk. To make the wooden parts look realistic, with a wet brush, take some brown paint and draw some shadows. And finally, glue your ladder made of string. It's reaching the sky. Your treehouse is ready. Finally, outline the shapes with a black marker for the drawing to look sharp. Just like you see here. 